you guys, we were too late to show it to you, but I can assure you, this Luna just went to sniff it and it went from green to like a crashing orange line. <laughs> that is so funny. I, I wish you would do it again, but Luna is usually uh, exploring something just once and then she like, okay, I know what this is. Maybe she can do it again. Let's see if she would do it again. See, as she gets closer, the green line gets shorter. See, there's a, a fluctuation. But yeah, she's already been there and it, it turned orange and it went down. I can assure you that, guys. Maybe now it just purified, I don't know. Whatever she released in the air. Could be just her breath. Maybe just the breath. Yeah, she was sniffing. That's a good thing, Mike. Yeah, she was actually sniff. She was actually sniffing on that thing, like nose on the thing. Here we have the actual time scale of what what was happening. Here you see the uh, the PM two dot five. Do we have a timestamp? Yeah, it's just now. So this is what happens. <laughs> That's really funny. That's the, that, that thing really works. I don't know what it does, but it does react. On the surface, we can tell that it does react on things that happen around it. There's our little Luna. She's Luna. loving the new carpet. That's how it is going. So it's the evening, guys. Time to turn to light a candle. Let's just see if he will pick up on this. So this is a scented candle. It's uh, it smells like clementine. Mike just said something. What did you just say, Mike? sensor is at the, in the back on the right hand side yeah but i shouldn't get that close because if something is in the air then it's in the air yeah ultimately it gets in the air oh now no no i just i just uh lit the candle i couldn't even smell it myself but now i'm smelling it myself too so let's see if he picks up on that I didn't notice that sometimes this thing picks up scents and things like that from the air after it has lingered a little bit. It's now blowing air. <clears throat> Did you change something? Yeah. Where did, where did you put it? Just holding it in my hand. But I mean, this is not a, this is not a, str a strong candle. We stopped using strong candles. So we can barely smell it ourselves. Plus, uh, we've always used candles that are, um, you know, qualified as good for the environment and don't have any toxic um, stuff in it. There's actually a certification that uh, brands can get, a global certification. So I don't know. I don't know if maybe, maybe there isn't anything in a candle that can be registered as a threat. Quote, end quote. There is, but if you want to force it, I think you need to put it near the sensors, which is in the back to the right. There are four slits in the back. 
There are the sensors. Okay, let me get to it. No, that's to the left. Right. Yeah, but it keeps spinning, so there is no left or right. Okay. So eventually it will come. Nothing happens. So guys, everything was perfect up to this point. Everything was perfect. The line kept green, stable green, green line, which means uh, the quality in the room is good. Uh, so we had dinner and everything. Um, I mean, uh, nothing out of the ordinary on that screen. But then, then we did what we always do. We love clementines around this time of year. So we started enjoying some clementines. We always do a lot of clementines because we love them. So the hill, the the whole room smells like clementines right now. Plus, we are uh, lighting a candle. The candle again also smells like clementine, like clementines. But that's of course not the real thing. So at this point, we're not sure which one triggered it. Whether it's the real clementines or the clementine scented um, candle. Yeah, correct. So it says PM two dot five readings. Yeah. And um, the machine monitors the presence of the microscopic particles of the uh, up to 2.5 microns in size. These include smoke, bacteria and allergens. Okay, so maybe some smoke that comes off the candle. I think so. Yes, because that one is a real candle and it's burning. Yeah. These are fake. These one are fake candles. These are just, you know, the rechargeable candles. So that, that can be it. So it's it's this one, it's this little candle right here. And another thing is that it doesn't turn green. So it, it so it means that the source of whatever triggered it is it is still going on. So there is no end to it. Uh because the candle keeps burning. I mean if it were the the clementines, at some point that thing would have purified the air, the room. So we really believe that it's the candle that triggered it. Which is good. That's how we get to know that uh, device. So um, maybe tomorrow evening we won't be lighting a candle and then we'll see what, what then happens. We will be having the clementines, but we won't be lighting a candle and then see how that, that thing responds. Uh, and as you guys just saw on the screen, it says the air is very poor. Not just bad or poor. Not, not, no, but very poor. It's now up, it's now up to port. Okay. Okay, because that thing is still working. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I can still see that it's it, it's an orange line that's still flashing, more like. It doesn't really flash. It just on the horizon. Oh, it's now turning a little bit green. So that could be true what Mike is seeing on the app. It was just up to this point, it was still uh, orange. The app now says Oh, fair. it's now fair. Okay, yeah, see? Because I can see that it's now turning a little bit light green. It's funny. So this thing is really working, guys. It's picking up things. It's picking up things, yeah. And I'm sorry, you can't see the colors. We have the cats on our laps. But I'm sure. Uh, and um, yeah, it is dark because, I mean, that's when you, you, you do your things and light candles. So it's the perfect time to test this and, uh, you know, you do your dinner and all that. But I can assure you, I'm now looking, I don't know how it looks on the screen, but I'm now looking at a green horizontal line again. It's not, it's not fully green, but it's green-ish. What are you seeing on the screen, Mike? I don't think it says green yet. Uh, I don't think it no, says good yet. It's fair. It's fair, yeah. It's, it's orange. 
okay. It's now green. Now I can see a clear green color. So let, let's see what Mike will see on it. It's updating every 15 seconds. I just read it. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can now see a very clear green line. So now it says good. Oh, see? Now it says good. So it is, it is true. It does correspond with each other. So what is this moderate up here? I forgot what that's, that was. That's outside. Ah, okay, yeah. So that's outside weather. So it's five degrees outside. Yeah. And uh, humidity of 93%. So what this means is, what this means is, it's not the candle. Because if it was the candle, it will be still uh, purifying the air because the candle is still burning. So it's actually this this burst of clementine scent in the air that just happened because we ate about five of them back to back, one after another. And that just created this burst of aroma in, and, in the... And of course, then it always takes a while for it to spread. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And to be picked up by that device. So, yeah. It's funny because I think I remember something about them saying, the manufacturers about this, the, them saying that they've built in something that can distinguish between fruit and they specifically used the orange, oranges as a, an example, but maybe sometimes it still can distinguish between that and it's still being triggered. So we now at least have established that, yes, this is not a scam. This is not a trivia. It actually does pick up things in the air. It's true. It is true. <laughs> this thing actually works. This thing does does something. Guys, we were just sitting here having a tea break. We're, we're working. Today is just a working day, working from home. So we were just sitting here having our tea break. And all of a sudden, that thing went on. And as you can see, it's indicating that the air quality is very poor, just out of nowhere. No idea Maybe where. Maybe we should stop breathing. Maybe we should stop breathing. Did you brush your teeth? Yes, and I'm showered and everything, but this tea is citrus tea. Maybe that's it. I don't I know. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't know how, how sensitive uh, the sensor is, but I must say, it is citrus tea, so it, it, it is, yeah, I don't know, it is a specific scent, so maybe that does something. I don't know. The line is still red. I'll let you guys know what happens. So guys, for lunch, I'm having some cereal, honey puffs, honey puffs with apple, and a little bit of cinnamon. But uh, it doesn't seem to affect this thing. Which is a good thing. That doesn't mean that this thing uh, is you know, too lazy to pick up scents. It means that this is what you want. Otherwise, it's going to be making um, overtime for nothing. So you want it to do, to do its work when it's needed. And not just register and give you red, red alarm and stuff like that for nothing. So... I know, I think it's doing what it should be doing. Guys, it's again a different day and again we're doing our tea break. Uh, but Mike has also his e-cigarette. So there are two things going on right now. So he has his e-cigarette and we have this. Which is uh, food um, Yeah, this is additive. Yeah. So, so if you're one of these people that's terrified by the idea of e-cigarette, please don't be fooled and do your research. And I know that's something that we uh, throw at each other a lot, but please just, you know, entertain yourself and do a little bit of research when you have uh, time on your hands. But um, yeah, because Mike has his e-cigarette all the time and that's, that thing is not activated all the time. No. But what we're drinking here, what kind of tea is this, Mike? Is it again the citrus tea? Yeah, so it's the lemon. So it's the lemon. So yes, so that's crazy because it went off like we showed you by now in the video when we were enjoying our clementines. It went off the other day when we had our uh, lemon tea and again now. 
and you can actually smell the aroma of the lemon tea. I can yeah. smell it in the, in the room. So. Cup is covered, but mine isn't. Yeah, his, his isn't. But I still can smell it, and it's nice, and we love it. That's why we have it. So, I don't know. Just giving you bits and pieces from our daily life, you guys. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that Mike just set it on heat. So it was just warming uh, the, the room a little bit just to take the chill out of the air because it's, it's still winter. Of course, we're still in winter. Yeah, no idea when you're watching. Again, yeah. And it's getting cold again. We're reaching zero again. So you can, uh, you, can you, you start to feel that chill in the air. As it was doing that, uh, warming up the air in the living room, it switched automatically as soon as it, as it, it thinks that it, de uh, it detected something in the air. So it, 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 it just, yeah, it does no, its own it, thing. It, it switched to, to the back exhaust um, it, because it was done heating. So what, but now it's filtering. Yeah, but it's it purifying. filtering if it's heating as well. Yes? Yes. Okay. Of course. But this sound I didn't hear. Or was I too uh, distracted? No, it's in the auto position now. So it's filtering the air and it's it's done heating. So it, it's reached 18 degrees Celsius. And now it is automatically transferring to the, to the back side to filter, but not heat anymore. Okay. So the oh, it's slowing down. Stopped, so it's slowing oh, down yeah. Now. It's the line is turning green again and it's slowing down. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean toward the green eventually it went from red to orange to yellow and then it goes to light green and then to green There it is Yeah, I don't know we think it's doing what, it, what it's supposed to be doing and um, me and Mike both noticed that the air is um, I don't know. It just it feels different. The air around you feels different. It feels different. Yeah. Yeah. We can. I cannot tell you how diff. What is different about it? But it just. I don't know. It feels smoother. It feels like. It feels like your nose is not. Doesn't have. To work hard to get. I don't know. No, I'm not gonna. I don't know how to put it. I'm sorry. It just feels different. Let's just leave it at that. It feels different. So yeah, looks like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Guys, so we just uh, had something delivered. We uh, decided to get an air, air filter, a smaller one for our very small uh, bed uh, room. And that thing started. Oh, and it, I, I was late. I'm sorry. I was looking at it because I'm still at work. I'm still working from home. So I was distracted. I was like, why, why is he making that noise again? But that's because this box is right in front of it. And it started going off. That thing went off. So uh, again, you saw the red line again, and but it looks like everything is not purified. So this is, I guess, the formaldehyde that they talk about. Whenever you, you bring something new that's processed like a product, especially things that are boxed, things that have like um, an actual size like this, not something small or whatever. So, but I promise you, I uh, left it there because we're going to unbox it and do another video about that one. And I forgot about it, and I went right to uh, went right back to work, and um, that thing went off. Not right away. It took about five minutes, maybe five five minutes. It took for it to apparently detect it in the air, but it did. So that's funny. So, so uh, we we were uh, by then we were um, finished drinking tea. We were finished doing our thing. We we're in the back in the kitchen. So nothing else here that could have tri uh, triggered it except this box. I don't know. Let's just do a test, guys. See if we would unbox it. See what would happen. And like, wave in front of it. <laughs> See if we can create some good old formaldehyde cloud. See what then happens. Give it some time. Let's give it some time. See what then happens. Or maybe what came of it is already purified, detected and purified. Not really sure, but I just know that it just took about five minutes for it to, de 
detect it. So I'm gonna sit here, see what happens. So it's been now longer than five minutes, but I don't see anything happening. But again, the minute I um, left the box next to it, not the minute, I mean, the, the first time I left it next to it, it took about three minutes maybe, and then um, it went off, but now nothing happens. Like I said, I guess it did what it had to do, and now it's done because it's a small thing. It's just this box, and there's nothing to it. It's just the box and the air filter. We just unboxed it. There's nothing to it. There's not much going on in that box. So I guess maybe that could be the reason why th this is not giving off too much formaldehyde, maybe. So Mike is having that French toast with banana and cinnamon. I'm having this Weetabix with uh, blueberries and fresh orange juice. Looks like that thing is not picking up anything. So I think that's good, right? So guys, like I said, sometimes it takes a while because sometimes some scents need time to you know, start lingering in the air, in, in your space. But yes, look at this. So Mike is working in the back, but I, I always work here in the living room, so I can tell you I know exactly when he starts to act up and that's only when something changes whether we add a box in here or we're having uh, some tea or coffee or whatever so we just had lunch yeah, only walk past the box. yeah. That could also be, uh, so it's the pn 2.5 whatever that is i'm gonna look it up and put it in the info uh, if you have your uh, subtitles turned on I'll look it up, what that exactly means, and you'll see it. So I think it has to do with the lunch, because I use cinnamon in the French toast. It's a smoke, industrial emission, and burning candles. Oh, that's because uh, that's what I was doing, kind of grilling the bread. Yeah, yeah. because it, there is this smoke kind of effect that comes off the, the toast, of course. So, yes, yeah, okay, well, th there you have it. Guys, it's at it again, and again, because we're having clementines. It's the last, last, uh, I mean, it's the end of the season of the clementines, so we're enjoying them, as you can see. But yeah, that thing keeps detecting them every now, every time, again and again. It's funny. So, I don't know, I, I kind of was hoping that it wouldn't be as sensitive to this kind of sense, but more like to the... But it's okay. But it's okay. Yeah. It means it does detect change in the, in the air. Yeah, so, any change that is. So guys, we just woke up. Not really just woke up. It's been, uh, what, more than an hour. We had to shower, we had breakfast and everything. We just sat here watching some TV and, um, you know, trying to get ready to log on work but then this thing started working like crazy and we looked on the app and it said severe um, uh, air quality and we're not really sure what it picked from the air because at that point we were done with breakfast I mean by what uh, maybe even half hour so out of nothing it just started like crazy purifying the air and like I said it said severe air quality not poor so and we're not smelling anything we have no idea we know that we had our windows renewed lately and something went wrong they don't seal off like they should be these are supposed to be double glazed windows that seal off uh, so we come up with a solution but we know that um, I don't know if it's that and like I showed you guys we live on a, a street where cars go by in the center of Amsterdam so it's very touristy I don't know I don't know what it could be uh, what, what that thing picked from the air no idea and uh, me and Mike both think we feel like I don't know the breathing is a little bit more 
smoother, you know, breathing through your nose. I know it sounds always stupid because it's not like we have troubles breathing, but those are the little changes that you're going to start to notice. Hey, not that I had troubles breathing, but it feels like the air goes a little bit smoother through my nose now. I don't know if that's something that's in your head because of this thing or that's an actual thing, but I don't know, overall the idea that you have something that protects you from things that are the unseen things in the air is kind of a um, nice idea. Again, especially if you live in the city center. So overall, I would say we're still happy with this purchase still happy with this purchase and we have it most of the time on automatic and we have tested it with different stuff and uh it's not a scam it's not they didn't build anything in just you know to make you feel like oh it's doing something we've tested it with food and it, it does go off so i don't know if you have the budget and um you think your home is in a position where the air isn't what it should be and that's something that worries you i would definitely get this and if you don't have the budget for this because this is around maybe not really sure mike is not around but i think it was about between 500 or 600 euros but uh if you don't have the budget for this then definitely try to get something uh, in a different price range but definitely try to get an air purifier we have a smaller one, the video, I don't know if the video is up by now, but we got another one, smaller one, not from this brand for this, the bedroom. And I must say, guys, the air just feels much better. It, it feels much better. You, you just notice it. So there is something to this. It's not completely, it's not a toy. It's not, a, it's not an, an unnecessary luxury. There is something to this. So. I know, I hope this concludes our review and um, we hope we gave you uh, an idea and a sort of a feeling on what to think of this or what to do with this. Anyway, good luck on whatever you decide and stay safe and healthy out there. Thank you so much for watching and uh, if you like what you see, please like, share, comment, subscribe and we hope to see you again. This is crazy. It has snow. It has been snowing. We've been sitting here watching TV. We haven't even noticed. That is crazy. I feel like. I haven't even heard it was snowing. <laughs> no, I told you. I said to Mike, something's not right. It feels like it's raining very heavy, but I don't see rain. But it, it wasn't rain. It was snow falling. You heard the snow falling. Yeah, do you guys know that song by Linda Edder? The sound of the snow when it's falling? So yes, snow does make a uh, 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 sound. It's crazy. It's crazy. Guys, so it's snowing, as you can see. Let me give you a snowing shot of this. Large flakes? Yeah, really large flakes. That's beautiful. That is really beautiful. So, perfect time to test the heating uh, um, function of this. And I must admit, we have already tested. So it just went off and it works fine. It really works fine. The, um, the heating element with this has, it seems like it has a big range. Because although this is not a huge uh, room, but it's also not the smallest room you'll find. But it really does heat up no. this whole space. Yeah, no. wait, I've I've seen them smaller here in Amsterdam. It does heat up the whole room in a matter of minutes, which um, is actually uh, uh, um, how do you say that? Which is good thing. it's a good thing because it's it it helps you to save money because that's what you want. We don't like to be uh, in a room that's constantly being heated. That's just not comfortable. So you just want the chill out of the air. You want it to be comfortable and that's it. If that thing can do that in a couple of minutes, then that's what you want. That's it, you're done. And it, it does that. It's really comfortable now inside the room. It, it's cozy, it's comfortable, it's nice. While it's cold-ish outside and it's snowing. 
So, heating function of this thing, check. So, I don't know if you guys can still see a little bit of the smoke that came off of this little candle. We're about to go to bed, so Mike just uh, blew it out. And I can still, um, like, actually smell, you know, that typical scent that comes off candles. Just a regular candle when you blow them out. But then that thing started working. So there's that also. So yeah, so it's particularly sensitive to anything that is smoky or tends to smell like towards fire or smoke or just giving you bits and pieces throughout the days that we've been using this. So if it seems weird, these shorts, these short moments that differ from each other, this is why. Every now and then, whenever I see you do something, I'm like, yes, we need, we need to catch this moment. Guys, if you guys have pets, cats, cats, pets, pets or cats in specific, and you're thinking about the Dyson heater and cooler, just know that they don't care about that. They just sniffed, sniffed it a little bit, but other than that, they really don't care. I don't know, just an additional info I thought I threw in there. Hey guys, so I was just making some vegetarian pasta. I think I shared this recipe with you. They're super uh, healthy and very low calorie. But I started to uh, grill the shrimps. And then of course, the air purifier went on. Let's see what it says. What, it, oh. PM25, so that means smoke, because if you have watched the video, the first video by now, I did the subtitles. If you turn on the subtitles, you'll see what this means. Mostly industrial, industrial smoke and all that. And burning candles. Yeah, burning candles, so. And look behind you. That's behind me. So we have both. Jackpot. Ding, 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 ding. Jackpot. <laughs> Jackpot. Guys. So, like we promised in part one, this is the follow-up. Uh, like we promised in part one, if you guys haven't seen that video, you'll find it in the outro. We now have actual something to put this thing to the test. Because you keep hearing and you keep seeing in all the videos of the manufacturer that the formaldehyde is what is being released when you buy something piece of furniture or anything that's being chemically processed. We now have, we just had our uh, carpet delivered because it's really cold. Hence one of the reasons why we have this thing. Uh, a carpet that will roll out here on our wooden floor to make things a little bit warmer. Uh, we'll see what happens and if this thing detects anything. But I'm also curious as to, to as if this thing will detect anything automatically or do you have to set it on the function that is supposed to be detecting anything? No, it should, it should do it automatically. Okay. Uh, so we bought a small carpet here. Yeah. Under the uh, coffee table. Yeah, just for this. this to, These uh, things just fell out of this, you guys. Always try to keep in our home so yeah so it's just for around the coffee table and we made sure that it shouldn't be wider than the, the couch just to keep everything balanced and everything well proportioned proportion so, uh, this is not where the, the, the carpet will end up eventually, but we thought maybe it's fun to roll it out in um, uh, close to this thing just to see what happens. I don't know how, how long it should take. 
Yeah. Wait a minute. Do you, do you want to put Wait. it on the correct spot immediately? Or? Yeah, let's just put it on. We're going to put this on the right spot. And then um, if yeah. anything happens, we'll let you guys know. We'll keep the camera rolling. If the, if nothing happens, then you won't see anything. If it does happen, then I'll add it uh, somewhere in, the, in this video that you're watching right now. All right, there it is. Cat is not included for your information. The cat came out of the carpet the when cat, we rolled it out. Just like Cleopatra, that story. Now, how do you pronounce it, Cleopatra? Yeah, you guys know that story, so Cleopatra? He's already on it. He's already on it. Don't pee on it, Nico. <laughs> Otherwise, ah, I'm going to pee on you. This is so cute. Yeah, ah, he's so cute. They always prefer, especially when it's cold, they so always prefer. Oh, hey, so cute. Hey, why are you scared? What's so, that? Such a cutie. He almost blends in the carpet because of his colors. Oh, he's trying to uh, scratch it. He thinks this is his yeah. new scratch thing. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Just, so we need to continue, guys. Just for your information, this was not an expensive carpet. It wasn't. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> so no we're not those we elites that. We specifically bought it for the for the winter times, and we thought, well, you know, this, just, this should give us a little bit of additional warmth, and if it's um, in the summertime, we would just uh, roll it up into, it into the, the attic. attic. <laughs> yeah, because you guys, if you haven't watched the first video, you've missed a little bit of an introduction. But yeah. The downstairs neighbors don't live here anymore. So the floor, the wooden floor that we have gets really cold during winter. And, um, you know, by putting something, rolling out something like a carpet, you really compensate a little bit for that. So that's what it is. So that's what it is. That's also why we got this thing that we told you also about in uh, video number one. So we're going to leave it here for now. Again, um, looks like this thing hasn't detected anything yet, no. but maybe... Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe this isn't like that hardcore chemically processed. That's what I said to myself. Or maybe it takes a while before it really lingers and reaches the sensors. Not really sure. But as of now, I mean, the, this carpet is, is, is now rolled out and everything. And this thing hasn't detected anything yet. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? It hasn't even detected Miko. <laughs> and Miko hasn't even detected it. <laughs> Miko hasn't detected it. Miko Mik! Mike is now vacuuming the carpet. Just to make sure, because you never know from which depot. from which store, uh, st how do you call that? Storage depot. Depot. It, it came, and you know what fumes, maybe were or weren't there. Yeah, thing. it's a nice carpet. You know, we decided if we're gonna go for a carpet, then it has to have some sort of a motif. Yeah, I think it's uh, we, we chose wisely. Yeah. Chose the right colors. And it does uh, correspond with the rest of the home, the rest of the living room, the colors. It's I just too much. just had a clementine. And the plastic that you see right there is of the carpet, so otherwise everything is clean. So this thing should have immediately set off an alarm. <laughs> Again, guys, maybe yeah, it isn't it, bad. It has. Yeah? Yeah. It's showing orange now. Okay. So. Oh yeah, sure right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, because orange I just means it's four. It's four. And it has an orange PM two dot five, and we still need to look up what that is. Anyway, but there is a difference because I just showed you guys the green line. I just showed you the green line, and now it's yeah, orange. Yeah. See, it's fluctuating. Oh, yeah. It's now almost yellow. Oh, it, it has detected something. Uh, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the subtitle function that I will add to this video also to give you guys uh, additional information. So turn on your subtitles and you'll see what this is by now because I would have uh, find out and then 
oh, it's now green. That's because it's, of course, purifying the air. So it does work, guys. It's wor it, it, was, it is working. It's it not a scam. Something. It does something. It's not a scam. <laughs> it does something. Yes. Yeah. Honestly. So, that is worth sharing. Look, and it's now green again. <laughs>